Hello everyone and welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie with Alicia here. Hi. And today we're going to take a look at Charterstone by Stonemeyer Games. Charterstone is a legacy worker placement game for one to six players. Each game takes roughly 60 minutes to play and you'll be sort of building the game as you play and progress through the game over about 12 games. You get different, a lot of different things and components that you'll be unlocking as you build your legacy worker placement game. In the game Charterstone, you will take your workers and you place them all over the board and you do different actions. So you can grab resources, you can uncrate things, and you can also make buildings. It's a lot like another worker placement game that I really like, Viticulture. Um, it's by the same company too. So um, I like that aspect of it, using mm -hmm. your workers. I also like that you can like kick each other off so that you can have kind of extra turns type of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you go after something that you know someone else is gonna go after next, they'll kick you off and you get basically an extra turn, which is nice. Unless you're Callie, she'll never <laughs> kick you off. <laughs> Just you specifically, sorry, this didn't Me happen. Specifically. <laughs> I really enjoyed the uncrating aspect because that's where the legacy really comes in, I feel, is that ability to unlock and sort of you're building the whole town as you go along. So uncrating unlocks new mechanics. And if you're the one to uncrate that mechanic and you'll uncrate it from the index box here. There's tons of stuff still in here that we haven't gotten to yet. Then you're the one that kind of gets a bonus or benefit for using that mechanic for unlocking it. I like getting more cards in that way too. Mm -hmm. I liked how we would uncrate things and make buildings and you can place your buildings wherever you want so you're basically making your own board. So everyone's game is going to look different in addition to just being that legacy where you're building it along. I really haven't played a game exactly like this. Yeah, we played a lot of worker placement games and a few legacy games, but not a lot that combine both of those. And this was really unique in that. And that the fact that you basically build your worker placement game throughout the game is nice. It has that replayability still, which a lot of legacy games don't. And I liked how you could also name your characters um, and you can name <laughs> your cities too. So here we have Crimson Cliffs, Wolfenstein, and we have a little guy here named Goober. Actually, it's a girl <laughs> named Goober. <laughs> and we so, kind of, we started going with a the theme. We have sunshine fields and black canyons and then Winner's Peak because Alicia won the first game, so we had her name, her area that. <laughs> Something that I didn't like about the game so much is that um, for each round, you'll get a star for 10 points. So like if you were at nine points, you would get zero stars for that round and you would have zero victory points that will accumulate for that round for Yes. the end of the game. Like culminate for the ultimate end of the game, yes. And I, another thing is it can be very challenging to tell when exactly each game is going to end because of the timer set in the game that is dependent on specific actions that people take. So yeah, sometimes, okay, they don't take, no one takes that action for a whole round or two rounds and it doesn't move at all. And then all of a sudden one round it moves three times and they're like, oh, that's the end of the game. The artwork is super cute. The characters are very cartoony. The board is very vibrant and has that sort of almost fantasy type. It's not really fantasy, but it has a little bit of whimsical fantasy feel to me uh, as far as being lighthearted and uh, a little bit of cartoony characters. Yeah, the characters are definitely cute and I like that about it. It's like, it kind of reminds me of the characters on Animal Crossing. And the components are really nice. So the resources are the wooden uh, components, which are really nice and they're very colorful. There's a lot of different components as well that you get to unlock throughout the game. So it's kind of, it's a lot actually in the game. The quality of this game, um, it's, it's really good. I like that um, the cards are, a lot of them mm -hmm. are stickers. So you, you peel it, you put it on the board and it, the stickers are really good quality. Yeah, the stickers were easy to use, which is really good. And if you do kind of accidentally place them in the wrong place at first, it, it is, uh, 
you can remove them and replace them. I say this game is great for families especially because you do want, uh, in my opinion, the same group of people playing every time you play and that's just a little easier when you're in the same household. But it could be a group of friends, especially if you have a specific game night every week or something. I think that's the ideal situation for families as well because the game kind of grows with you. You start, the mechanics are very simple at first. It's great for younger kids because you'll be able to introduce things one at a time and it kind of gets more complex over time. I feel like that sums it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game a lot. I like how you can build your own board. You putting on stickers to make your own locations. And I like the worker placement aspect of it. I like mm. how you can have more turns if other people decide to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you like how competitive it is too, right? Getting, getting the stars, getting the trophies. I, no. <laughs> uh, I, what I really like about this game and what tells me I like it is that we wanted to play again right away and again the next day. So that really tells me, okay, this is a game that I really like. And just, yeah, having that control, being able to kind of build things how you want, kind of reminds me of some of those similar games like Stardew Valley and Littlewood where you're creating your own, your own little village, which is really fun. Overall, I thought this was a fun game that you can play with family, with friends, so that you can build your own board and you can reuse it later in the future after it's all finished. Mm -hmm. um, it was a cute little story and I'd like to continue playing to see how our board is going to end up. Agreed. Charterstone has a unique spa uh, place in the space, I think. There's not a lot of games out there like this, which makes it definitely one that if you're interested in, you'll want to pick up. And you can do that in the link in the description down below if you'd like to check that out. Uh, that's it about Charterstone. If you guys want to check out the game, definitely click the link in the description below, as well as checking out unfilteredgamer.com. We have tons more reviews, there's blog reviews, there's giveaways on that site, and of course unfilteredgames.com has Moonshell, my own game that I designed. You can go ahead and check that out as well. Anything else? No, I think that's it. We covered it. <laughs> oh, and join us live every Sunday evening. Alicia's been playing games live with us now, and it's a lot of fun. 6.30 p.m. PST Sundays on Facebook. Caleb and Michael are there too. And yes, Caleb and Michael <laughs> play a lot of the games with us there too. It's just a fun time and you get to check out uh, all types of different games, including Kickstarter preview games. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to See you guys next, next time. time. I want everybody to be quiet, and then when I say your name, I want you to say hello in your normal voice that you're going to be talking with. Hello. See, I would be better on the other <laughs> side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want me to like a little piece of paper and have little yeah. categories out? And then you can point to each one. Point to the <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to remember all of that, so it's going to be a lot shorter. Okay, okay. In the game Charter Stone, you, you collect you're resources. Built, you're, yeah, you collecting. You're using unlock. your workers. And then you I'll talk. Build your own board. We never named our whole city. Dante. Go to sleep, Dante. Go to sleep. You woke him up. <laughs> Boxes, and you can also make. No, no, it's perfect. I was just scratching. <laughs> no, you, yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was excellent. Yes, I liked it. <laughs> Don't say yes. You gotta use a sentence. I don't know, what do I say about it? <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. <laughs>